This is KMAX Technology Tuesday, sponsored by Blue Layer Innovative Technology Solutions. Hackers will do just about anything to get a hold of your Facebook credentials. The latest scam involves fake chat GTT apps and websites. And once you're logged in, your account could be compromised. Now Rich DeMiro takes a look. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to do this. Jen Rock is desperately trying to get her Facebook account back. It's just, this is awful. The online marketing specialist who moonlights as a DJ woke up to her account hacked. I had an email that says, you changed your password on Facebook. And I was like, no, I did it. And then it said Lily Collins next to it. And I was like, oh no, this is not good. Although she isn't exactly sure how it happened, the effects quickly snowballed. The thought of having to start all over and then also losing all those memories she also lost access to her linked Instagram account. And since she uses Facebook's advertising tools for work, that was impacted too. My boss had to get involved and that didn't feel very good. So I was extremely frustrated, like on the verge of tears. Cyber criminals tend to keep a track of, you know, rapidly evolving new emerging trends and then try to use those trends to create scams and phishing attacks you know, to target their victims. Right now, scammers are especially interested in creating fake chat GPT websites and apps with website URLs similar to a name you recognize. Because chat GPT is so colloquial and people tend to use it so loosely and freely, uh, you know, fraudsters tend to play on this uh, problem and then try to fool people who are not really aware of, you know, what they should be looking for. To protect yourself, use two-factor authentication and unique, strong passwords. Bitwarden, Norton, and others offer tools to generate them. Oh my gosh, it went through. While Jen still works on fully recovering her account, she says she's learned a lot from the experience. Make sure that the websites that you're going to are actually credible. If you see something or think something is too good to be true or is suspicious, don't open it, don't click on it.